This morning, President Joe Biden celebrating a multi-country prisoner swap with Russia, marking a major diplomatic achievement. ABC's M. Wynn reports as the freed Americans touched down in the U.S. overnight. This morning, three freed Americans, including long-detained former Marine Paul Whelan, touching down on U.S. soil in a historic prisoner swap. <laughs> Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Grushkovich picking up his mom on the tarmac of Joint Base Andrews in Maryland. <laughs> Russian-American journalist Alsu Garmasheva embracing her children, one of them turning 13 today. Each greeted by President Biden and Vice President Harris. My job is to make sure, number one, they don't get them. And if they do, we get them back. This is an incredible day. You can see it in the families, in their eyes, and in their cries. A poignant moment, Biden removing his American flag pin and placing it on Whelan's clothes. Shortly after the tearful reunions, the three newly released Americans headed to San Antonio, Texas to receive care at Brook Army Medical Center and post-isolation support. I went on a two-week vacation. This is the, the nonsense narrative they came up with. You know, this is how Putin runs his government. This is how Putin runs his country. Yeah, I'm glad I'm home. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never going back there again. Whelan was visiting Russia for a wedding in 2018 when he was detained and charged with espionage. Gershkovich was also charged with espionage two weeks ago and sentenced to 16 years in a Russian penal colony. Gormasheva, critical of the Kremlin, convicted of spreading false information about the Russian army. The U.S. denouncing each conviction as a sham. The multinational prisoner exchange set two dozen people free. Eight Russians jailed in the U.S., Germany and other countries were released. Alliances make a difference. They stepped up. They took a chance for us. It mattered a lot. In the Russian form finalizing his release, the reporter Evan Gershkovich actually requested an interview with Vladimir Putin. M1 ABC News, Washington. Brittany Greiner, who went through her own high-profile prisoner swap just 19 months ago, learned of Thursday's developments before taking the court with Team USA in the Olympics. After the game, she said she was, quote, head over heels happy for the families right now. Any day that Americans come home, that's a win. That's a win. Greiner spent about nine months in a Russian prison, uh, Russian prison on drug charges. Since her return, she took an active role in helping other detained Americans.